It's Adam and welcome to the niche website case study video. I wanted to put this video together to show you how I used the keyword tool in the real world to build a very successful, very profitable website. I'm hoping that you can take what I'm showing you here in this particular case study and apply this to your own website or your own business to get better search engine rankings, get more traffic from Google and make more profits online. So let's get into it. The website that we'll be looking at in this case study is betafishcenter.com, which I have open here. This is one of my own websites, and this website makes between $500 and $1,000 per month on complete autopilot. So it's a successful, profitable niche site, and it happens to be an authority website in its particular niche, meaning that I'm dominating the search engines across a multitude of different keywords. And I did it all through using the Keyword Advantage Keyword Tool. Now let's head over to SEMrush. This is a service that I use to track my search engine rankings and I'm just going to enter the website betafishcenter.com and do a search. And last time I checked my rankings, I believe I had 165 top 20 rankings in Google for various keywords. So let's do a search there. Let's click on Positions. And we'll wait for the data to populate here. I'll scroll down a little bit. And you can see the wheels are turning. We'll wait for this to come through. There we go. So as of the time of this recording, 167 top 20 positions in Google. That's a lot of positions. And as a result, I enjoy around 800 to 1,000 unique visitors per month from the search engines to my website. And that's 100% free targeted search engine traffic. So I'm getting, again, 15 to 30,000 visitors per month. Imagine what you could do with that sort of traffic. Now, the way that this website is getting rankings is through content. That's what Google and other search engines want. They want really high quality, great content. So if we go over, for instance, to the learning tab, you'll see that we have all of our articles organized into different categories. Let's go, for instance, to aquarium setup, and then you'll see links to a bunch of different articles. If we go into the one of the articles, let's go into the best lighting for your aquarium, we'll be taken to one of the articles all about beta aquarium lighting. And of course, as you know, Google ranks web pages, not websites, meaning that each individual page on your website has the potential to rank for an individual keyword. So if you have 10 different pages on your website, you can target a different keyword for each page. So this, the keyword that we're targeting, this page is beta aquarium lighting. I'll go to another URL, beta behavior, and this particular page is targeting the keyword beta behavior. You can see that it's a very popular page, 54 comments. If we go over to Google, I believe this particular page is ranked in the top five. Oops, spelled that wrong. Beta behavior right there. So people are typing various beta related keywords into Google and then they're finding their way back to my website because I have so many solid rankings in the search engines. And then when they get there, just in case you were curious, the way the site makes money is we get some clicks on our AdSense ads, but the majority of the revenue for this site comes in through selling our ebook and also the products that we sell in the upsell process for that ebook. And all of the sales are processed through ClickBank. So we have some traffic clicking on our AdSense ads, some traffic clicking here to go to our sales page and buying our ebook, and some traffic joining our email mini course, which is a free autoresponder sequence, a series of emails that a subscriber will receive. And we give away lots of great free content in those emails, but we also have some selling emails embedded in there that are with the purpose of selling the ebook. So some of those emails send people straight back to our sales page, or in this case, our sales video page. So let's head back to Beta Fish Center. And what I want to show you now is how I did this, because 
really what enabled me to do this was Keyword Advantage. When you select the right keywords and then you build content around those keywords, not only is it very easy to get rankings in Google for your web pages, but those rankings stick because you're targeting non-competitive keywords. And in addition to that, you're going to be getting lots of traffic from those keywords because again, remember a money word is a keyword that has great search volume, but is also a low competition keyword. These are keywords that are overlooked and, but yet they have great search volume. They're popular. So therefore they have a lot of potential to get you a lot of traffic and make you a lot of money. So let me show you how to go about this yourself. There are essentially three steps and let's go ahead and type these out. There's three steps to building an authority site like this that just dominates Google, dominates Yahoo and dominates Bing. The first step is to find the right keywords. The second step is to build content pages around those keywords. And the third step is to build high quality backlinks to your pages. That's it. It's really a simple three step process just like that. Now, this is probably a process that you've heard before, right? I mean, this is nothing groundbreaking, is it? Well, it is because it's not the steps themselves. It's how you do these steps. Of course, success online is all about attention to detail. So what I'm going to do now is bring the keyword tool over and I'm going to show you how I used it to accomplish step one, which was to find the right keywords. Because again, when you find the right keywords, search engine optimization and obtaining top search engine rankings becomes a very simple and easy process. So I'm going to go ahead and expand the keyword tool out so you can see it fully. And of course, this is a case study and I'm going to be doing this for a specific niche, in this case, the beta fish niche but you can apply this to whatever niche you're in. It doesn't matter. There are good keywords out there in pretty much every niche. So just follow along. You can watch what I did and how I go about doing this for all of my new niche sites that I build. And you can do the same thing for your website, whether you have an existing website or you're just getting ready to build one. So I'm going to start by going up to the AdWords link. And from here, once this page loads, I'm going to sign into AdWords. And then from here, once I'm signed in, I'll head over. Let me enter my password and sign in. And once I'm officially signed in, there we go. I'll head over to uh, the search function over here, search for new keyword ideas and ad group ideas, new keyword and ad group ideas. And let's put the keyword in beta fish to start. And then I'll go ahead and click get ideas. And Google will bring back some results. These are ad group results. I want to go to the keyword ideas tab. And now Google has brought back a number of keyword phrases related to beta fish and aquarium care and things like that. Now, this is using Google's keyword planner. This is Google's keyword planner. It's just that we're, we've built something over top of it called the AdWords harvester. And that's going to enable us to pull data back from Google and into the keyword tool. What's exciting about this is that Google's keyword tool, the keyword planner is really the best keyword data in the world. I mean, look, we're trying to rank well in Google, right? So why not harness Google's search data? Pretty smart move, right? It is. So it's really as easy as going down to the lower right and clicking a pinned keyword ideas to list at that stage. Pretty quickly, the keyword tool is going to suck all of that data back into the interface where you can see it and start working with it. So let's go ahead and do that. Wait for it to finish. Now I could repeat that process. Let's minimize this so you can see what's been pulled in so far. You can see that we've pulled in 801 keywords already in just a couple of seconds. Now I could repeat this process. I could go back up and, you know, a common misspelling for beta fish. A lot of people type it in with one T beta fish like that. And I could do another search. I could click get ideas and then suck another 800 keywords into the tool. In fact, you know what? Why not do that? Let's go ahead and click get ideas. We'll wait for the data to refresh and we'll append those keyword ideas to our list. We might as well go all the way. Okay. So there we go. Now we're up to 1079 keywords. So our list didn't exactly double, but we added a healthy amount of new keywords to our data set there. So we can close the AdWords harvester now. And now we're looking at the data that's been pulled in from Google keyword planner. Now, before I ever went into the beta fish niche, I first wanted to know 
whether or not the niche was too competitive or not. So how do you find that out? Well, there's a formula you can use to do that, and the keyword tool actually does it for you. The formula, though, is this. What you want to do, and this is something I learned from a good friend of mine who's a search engine optimization expert, makes six figures per month with his content sites, and all of his traffic's coming from Google and Yahoo and Bing. He definitely knows what he's doing. And he showed me this cool little method a few years ago, and I've been using it ever since to screen niche markets and find out if they're good candidates for me to build a niche site and spend my time optimizing it because I really don't wanna waste my time if it's ultimately gonna be leading to a dead end. So here's how to use the keyword tool to find great markets. What you wanna do is after you've pulled in some keywords is you wanna sort by search volume and sort by search volume descending. So click this tab twice and the keywords with the highest search volume will then be listed at the top and it will descend this way. And the formula is this, take the top three most popular, most highly searched for keywords in your market and find out what the average page rank is of those three keywords and then take a final average page rank. Now, I know that sounds a little bit complicated, but I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. What are we doing there? Well, we're finding out how competitive on average, the top three keywords are in our market. Why is that important? Because your top three keywords are really a representation of all the other keyword variations in your market. If you find out how competitive on average your top three are, that's really giving you a very good perception of how competitive the rest of your keywords are, how competitive your niche is as a whole. So let me show you how this works. Scan your list and put a checkbox next to your top three most highly searched for keywords, but make sure that they're on topic keywords. In other words, make sure that they contain your main keyword phrase that you've searched on. So saltwater fish is too far off base. That doesn't contain the word beta or better yet beta fish. So I would skip that. Fish tanks, mm, that's too up, far off base as well. Fish tank, mm, that's too general. We want to be more specific. So beta fish is one. Here's one, beta fish with one T. There's another one. And we just need three. So we're looking for the keyword beta here. And here's another one, beta fish for sale. Okay, so those are my top three most highly searched for keywords. Now what we want to do is run an, a competition analysis on each of these three keywords. So I'm just going to click the analyze button and the keyword tool is going to go to work pulling back page rank data and then ultimately scoring these keywords for me. So I'm going to actually pause the video while it gathers that data and we'll resume once it's finished. Okay, so my three keywords are analyzed now, as you can see, and they've been color coded. Two of them are yellow, one of them is dark green. And what I wanna do now is leave these three boxes checked, and then I'm going to click the sums and averages tab. Now, although this tab may look very, very simple, it's giving us some very, very powerful data. So where I'm looking right now is in the averages row. I can see that the average search volume of these three keywords is 33,866. I can see the average APR is 2.29 and the average CPC is 0.27. Now TRT we can see is 13,546 and just to define what this is, TRT stands for total ranking traffic and what it is is it's an estimate of how much traffic you would get per month if you ranked number one in Google for this keyword. So if you ranked number one in Google for beta fish at 74,000 searches per month, uh, you could expect to see 29,600 visitors to your site per month ranking for that one keyword. So that's what TRT is and it's just an estimate but it's based on historical data and results that have been tracked. So going back to the averages row, this is what I use to make a determination of whether or not I want to be going into the niche. So let's go ahead and open up a notepad file here. This will be useful, pull this over. And ultimately what I'm looking for is this. I want the average search volume to be greater than 10,000. I want the APR to be less than three. And I want CPC ultimately to be greater than 50 cents. Okay, now CPC is the least of my concerns. Okay, so if that criteria is not met, I'm okay with that. But these two, if they're not met, if either one isn't met or if both aren't met, that is a deal breaker. So 
As long as average search volume is greater than 10,000, that means that the niche is big enough. I'm going to be getting enough traffic if I decide to optimize my website for this niche or go into the niche at all. Next up is average page rank. This is a measure of competition, and I want this to be less than three. Okay? Markets with an overall average page rank of less than three are very non-competitive markets, meaning that it's going to be easy to enter those markets, do some very basic SEO and backlink building, and as a result, see very good results, good rankings in Google with minimal work and time involved. Now, the reason I like to look at cost per click is because cost per click is a reflection of how valuable keywords are to advertisers. The more money an advertiser is making bidding on a certain keyword, the higher they'll bid on that keyword. So the value of a keyword can be measured in some sense by cost per click. And I like to see a CPC of greater than 50 cents per click, but if it's not greater, then it's okay. It's still fine. If it is greater, well, that's icing on the cake. This happens to have an average CPC of 27 cents. So that's not terrible, but it's not great. But these two factors line up, which means that this market is a thumbs up, it's a go. So you can do this same analysis before you decide to enter a new market and put all that time into building a new niche site, because let's face it, it does take some time. And before you put that work and that time into it, you can make an intelligent prediction and determination of whether or not it's going to be easy for you to get rankings in the search engines or difficult. Now, once you've determined whether or not your niche is one that you should be entering by going through this process, you can either discard the niche if it doesn't meet these qualifications, or if it does, then you can move into it. And if you decide to do that, then what you want to do at that stage is run a complete analysis. So you would run an analysis on all of your keywords. And that's very simple to do. You just click this box up here, check all of your keywords, and then click Analyze. And let the keyword tool do all the work for you. Now, if you have a large data set like this, it may take a little bit of time for all of the analysis to complete, but it doesn't really take that long. And again, all the heavy lifting is done for you. So you just need to wait for your results to come back. Now, when all is said and done, remember, you don't want to be targeting keywords that are way off base. But it's easier just to check this box and analyze them anyway, even though you won't end up targeting them, like aquarium supplies, 10-gallon fish tank. That stuff really isn't accurate enough to be targeted for a beta fish website. But we can still just check this box because, let's face it, otherwise we're going to have to click all these boxes 1,079 times. So let's uncheck it, though. And what I'd like to do is just run an analysis on just some more beta fish keywords. I'm going to go down my list. And this is the process I go through, by the way, when I'm determining keywords to target. You want to find keywords, ultimately, that are green or light green. If they're green or light green, it's really that simple. You go for the keyword. If they're yellow or red, uh, you probably don't want to target it. Some yellow keywords are worth targeting. And we talk about that a little bit more in the other keyword advantage training videos and the documentation included with your download. But if you just want to play it completely safe, just target the green keywords in your market, the non-competitive keywords that still have a solid amount of search volume. So I'm just scanning my list here, and I want to check off some keywords. And again, I'm sorted by search volume descending, and I want to run an analysis on beta fish keywords that have the highest search volume possible. So that's why I've sorted search volume descending. So there's one, beta fish names. Let me see if I missed any others. Going back up a little bit, I thought I saw another beta fish keyword up here somewhere. Maybe, maybe not. How long do beta fish live? There it is. Okay, 3,600 searches per month, so I'll run an analysis on that one. Um, I'll run an analysis on the next one I see. I'm just scanning here. Okay, there's one. Beta fish fin rot. Okay, there's blue beta, blue beta fish beta fish types. Okay, so let's run an analysis now on these keywords. I have them checked off and I'll go ahead and click analyze. And at this point again, you just want to wait for the data to come back. So I'm going to pause this video and wait for the analysis to finish and then we'll resume. Okay, the keyword tool is finished now. And now what I'm going to do is sort by the FR column and that will pull all of my analyzed keywords to the top where I can see them all in one place. So I'm going to click that and it looks like it dropped me down. Let me click it once more. 
go back up to the top, and there are all the keywords that I've analyzed so far. Now, as you can see, the beta fish niche has a lot of great keywords in it, which is one of the reasons I'm in this niche. But what do we have here? What we're looking at here really is traffic. What we're looking at here is money. These are money keywords, green keywords. So let's bring our notepad file over here and let's jot these keywords down because these are very valuable keywords. Beta fish types, beta fish for sale, beta fish names. How long do beta fish live? Beta fish fin rot, blue beta fish. All money words that we could target. Now, what do we do with these keywords exactly? Well, these are the keywords that you're going to be building your content around. These are the keywords that I built my content around when I built Beta Fish Center, or the types of keywords, I should say. I'm not sure if I've targeted these keywords yet or not, but I've targeted money keywords. That much is sure. So I've brought Beta Fish Center over here. And for each of your money keywords, you want to build a piece of content around it, whether it's an article like this or whether it's a video. We also have a video gallery here. If you go to free videos, we're targeting here beta diseases and treatments. That's the keyword that's being targeted. So build a piece of content around each keyword and then add that to your website. So that's really it for our case study video. I hope I've done a good job of showing you how I used the keyword tool to generate keywords that enabled me to build a fantastic website like this that makes me passive income each and every month. I hope as well you can see that you can do the exact same thing. Now, if you're interested in my personal formula that I use to build niche websites like this and make passive income online, then you should check out nicheprofitclassroom.com. I've personally built over 300 profitable websites that have made me literally millions of dollars online following this formula that I'm showing you. And I've taught thousands of people all over the world how to do the same thing, many of whom have gone on to make full-time incomes. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot and I'll talk to you soon.